You don't want to find out the hard way that we've been easy with your ass. You don't want to find out the hard way when it comes time will be joy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Yes, I have been on a little hiatus from YouTube for a little bit because I'm trying to uh, figure out how to be more interactive. And so far, that's not working for me. And um, so I just had to take a break to really reevaluate some things. But there's a few stories that just, <laughs> it just won't be the same unless I, I go into them and talk about just how much they remind me of the 60s. We on the right track, y'all. We on the right track, baby. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. Back then, I'll tell you about 60 years ago, 50 years ago, we would use our entertainers, our singers, our um, dancers, whoever was clever enough to join the civil rights uh, movement. And to help fund the movement. That means we had to have attorneys that were pro bono. We had to have a whole group of people that was willing to say, you know, enough is enough. And that was the birth. That was the birth of the civil rights movement. Okay? And so what, in my opinion, given the history of that river uh, walk uh, is um, just given the history of that place and the significant historical uh, place that that represent. I think a lot of y'all should get up out your feelings and really look at the the significance of what happened. And I'm talking, you know, mostly to the white listeners because as black folks, you know. Whenever Donald Trump come to town, okay, whenever Donald Trump comes to town, he rallies up the troop, he get on fired up on a bunch of nonsense and bullshit and a hate. Um, and this is what a lot of them, they, they don't have no direction. They don't have no leadership and they don't have no moral compass because whether y'all want to accept the role or and not black people have been the moral compass for black for white America. If there was any moral compass, we have been the leaders in all areas because that's who we've been. You can't you cannot give civilization and literature to the world and not know how to maintain it. Okay? So what has happened is even from our low life condition, we had to be a compass. That's how you can have Frederick Douglass, a slave, born a slave, run away, and talk to all those people and give a 4th of July speech that they was just compelled to say, oh, that Frederick Douglass, oh, that Frederick Douglass. My point, y'all, is whenever Donald Trump comes to town, he stirs up bullshit. And if you fools don't know that by now, the way he did the country, that was just a kamikaze at, on that riverfront. Okay? And you notice no black folks pulled out no AK-47s because we, we ain't cowards like that. In fact, it wasn't even no guns at all. Okay? And you got your asses mollywopped. Okay, and I'm not one to condone 
you know, violence. I was, I'm a peaceful person. I love peace. But just like that Bible taught me, there's a time for war and there's a time for peace. You know, every God is the pit bull and God is the poodle. He's a rain and a hail and a tornado and she is also a beautiful sunny day. It represents everything. And so what Donald Trump has done, he came down there, he wrapped up the evilness. He wrapped it up, got them all hyped on bullshit and their arrogance, their privilege allowed them to sit and then the sad part about it is they're, they, they're trying to gaslight you if you black to saying you were wrong. They were uh, the, the black people down there were wrong. Even the black people who are brainwashed into saying something so foolish. That's because they're afraid. They're so afraid they, they need to just go put on their best suits and lay down. Okay? Clearly, it wasn't a problem when they had five on one beating up the black security guard when he was just doing his job. It wasn't a problem then. And the men and the women hitting on them and hitting on others. So much to the point you had somebody swim across the water like Tarzan to come get that ass. They was like, uh-uh, you're not going to do this. And we watched this and we already wait in the dock. We already been sitting out there 20 minutes because these arrogant, pompous <laughs> doofus Ugh, fake privileged ass white supremacist ass people stand their ass out here like they get to have it they wait all the time that shit is dead the world that you was brought up in is over COVID killed it all if nothing else killed it COVID brought some other shit on the side of it and that is black people ain't taking this bullshit from y'all no more we just ain't and the same vigor, the same vigor and um, energy that was unleashed on the perpetrators of the bullshit finally came in the past. And then when I saw the history of that place, the history of that port, the slave uh, port, I said, oh, that's what my, that's my ancestors. Coming alive, whooping ass, because God knows the slavery role that happened. And the, listen, 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 listen. The search for the last American slave ship is over, okay? Um, they found it, it was a schooner named Catilda. Believed to be the last known slave uh, ship to bring ship to bring enslaved people to the U.S. from Africa has been found in the Alabama's Mobile River. The Alabama Historical Commission announced. Okay, so now my point is, you got all this energy. You know that's why people say about you can say what you want to say about voodoo, uh, African worship. It's alive with spirits. It's alive with spiritual concepts. And some of y'all just the diluted your power with Jesus that you don't know where the power really lies. But white folk do. And they saw the power swim across that dock, unleash itself on to y'all that started the mess and then, just like good white folks do, they always run and start gaslighting and perpetrating like it was somebody else. But unfortunately, this time, there were too many witnesses. There was too many people that observed and had the tape. Um, and all I can say was that was an ancestor move. That was an ancestor move right there. And what was so beautiful about the whole thing, in my opinion, you had lawyers standing by pro bono 
as if they were needed to get anybody out of jail that was black. Honestly, because that's all they were interested in helping. And this is the kind of unity that it's going to take to get ourselves out of this wretched condition, a phenomenon. That's what Willie Lynch said. He said it's going to take a phenomenon. You know we don't got no weapons. They done bought most of them up in um, and the bullets too. Okay? But it's going to go beyond that. And again, it's going to do them just like it did when they captured us back in slavery and they had to cover the black woman's mouth because she would speak words out into the universe and make them drop down to their feet. Drop down because the power of life and death was in the tongue. Okay? And that voodoo was being put on them. Uh, well, listen, y'all better study some of this old um, ancient uh, phenomena in terms of voodoo. And I believe what I witnessed and I bear witness to was the ancestors coming back to this place where they were so torn and and uh deck just just soul and you know abused that there was a little bit of retribution in that and that's because everybody that watched it that's black and there were some white folks that uh, that that get it those that get it, that's from the loins of John Brown, I don't have to mention them because they get it. They my people. They get it. Okay? Because they understand that there's a time and a place for everything. And like Johnny Goodtar Watson said, all good things must come to an end. This might be the spark and the birth of us Stop having misplaced anger. Stop killing your brother and your sister and uni unifying over something. This could be the catalyst to change our lives as black folk and about how we feel about each other since we've made this 400 uh, year surge on over here in America. I know one thing. When they said lawyers that uh, will work pro bono, and you had Stephanie Mills and others saying, "Yeah, they'll, and I'll give a free concert, and the money gonna go to the, the legacy fund." The uh, I said, "Okay, that's what we need to do more of. That's what we need to come together, and we need to have artists, entertainers that are willing to say enough is enough." Enough is enough. And if I have to fund, fund this movement, I'm willing to do it. We got more a millionaire, billion, uh, black, black millionaires than we've ever had. It's time for them to start paying their weight. Because unless we all free, y'all asses don't need to be free. See? And when you got LeBron James' son and uh, 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 Dwayne Wade's son running down the street just like you got my son running down the street fearing for his life then you know that we all are in this together so with that being said I just want to give a shout out again to everybody it was the Mobile Alabama not Mobile Montgomery Alabama for showing up and they showed out for the and the ancestors moved through them, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Y'all need to stop letting Donald Trump gas you up and writing checks with his mouth that his ass can't keep cash. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.